Hi folks. Uh, we're going to talk today about grafting queens and how to go about that. And the very first step to this process is building the cell starter. The cell starter is basically a nucleus box, five frame nuke, with an addition of about six inches on the bottom. I've cut windows in the side for plenty of ventilation, covered them with screen. And these go all the way around. They also, it also is full screened on the bottom. Now the reason for this is that these that go in this cell starter are going to be trapped in there for about 48 hours with no escape. Now I do have one of these circular disc entrances on the front that I've made. I've just got it set to ventilation holes so there's no escape. In the bottom of this starter, I've got an old sour cream container that I put water in, added a sponge to keep the bees from grounding. I'm going to set this in the bottom. This will be their main source of water the next 48 hours. So the next step is to go through here, get all young bees on frames, transfer them to here. When we do this, we do not want the queen in our starter. We do not want young larvae. No eggs. None. If you have those in here, they're going to reject the grafts and they'll be building from what you gave them. So we want to stop that right off the bat. Okay, I went through the hive and I found the queen. I moved her frame over here. Let's go back over here where I'm working. I'm going to use all these frames and shake all these young bees into here. One very important thing, or two very important things, besides the water that you need to have. Those are, you need to have a frame of honey and you need to have a frame of pollen. I found both of those. Here's my frame of honey. Also on the outer edge it's got some pollen. Now another frame I'll be sticking in here has some more pollen on it. First things first, shake these young bees in. And once I get them shook in and drop in some frames, I'm also going to drop in my grafting frame. What that will do is give the bees a chance to clean up and polish up these cups so that they're more up to be accepted. Okay, so let's begin. Now I'm going to throw the lid on it. Now these bees are contained. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is since we know where the queen is, we're going to go ahead and set up our top box. And this is our finisher colony, which the bees will go back in this in 48 hours. We're going to go ahead and prep it. What I want to do is I want to get some brood in the top box the top deep. This frame's got brood. I'm going to stick it right in the top. Now the reason we want brood in the top box of our finisher colony is because you want brood on both sides of the grafting frame when we transfer it back into here. So by doing this now, you're actually saving yourself a step. So now I've got three frames of brood in this top box. This is the frame with the queen. She's all right here. There she is. Drop her back down in here. Now that I know that she's contained in the bottom deep, we'll place a queen excluder on. That way when I transfer the cells back to the finisher colony, I ain't got to worry about the queen getting up there destroying them. Okay, so there's our queen excluder. And another thing I want to do while we're in here I want to encourage the bees. I'm going to feed. Throw this box back on. There we go. We've prepped our finish colon finishing colony. And then a nice pattern. Very full. That's what you want to look for when you're doing your grafting. 
you go to hives that have that and reproduce to get that. So let's get on to the grafting. When you go to harvest your frame to graft from, from your grafting colony or your mother hive, you want to use your, your sweep broom and sweep the bees off. Do not shake it. The reason for this being, and this is important when you're grafting, as the bees grow from an egg into larva, what happens is, is they have an or, uh, holes on the sides of their neck. The larva do. The hole on the bottom remains closed. And the reason for that being is, is because if it was open, they would drown in the royal jelly. So they open the top flap so that they're able to breathe. So thinking about this, when you place the larva from the cell into the grafting cup, if you were to accidentally flip it over, you will drown it. The reason for that being is, is because only one flap is open. If you laid it on that, the other one will not open in time and that larva will die. It'll be rejected. So keep that in mind when you're grafting. Okay, now what you see here is a, is a frame stand which I have made and it holds the frame at an angle. So I'm able to see down inside the cells and pull up the, the larvae. Now the tools I will be using to graft today is the JZBZ tool and I think if I turn it just right you can see it has a slight hook on the end. And what you do is you get that down underneath the, the larvae which is the, the age you want is going to be like a the shape of a comma. So you're going to take that little hook and hook that larva up and lift it. The other tool is the Chinese grafting tool. Now this has a little flexible piece of plastic here. You scoop up the larvae and then it's got a plunger which pushes the larvae off into the cup. Some people have better luck with this than this. I like to play around with both of them. I'm going to try this Chinese grafting tool. I'm going to go down underneath the larvae, look for the right age, shaped like a comma. I'm going to go down, I'm going to slide underneath of her and pick straight up. I've got the larva on there. Now what I'm going to do is use this plunger to release her into the cup. Okay, you'll notice what I'm doing is as I'm putting eggs or larvae in each cup, I'm using this damp cloth to cover it. And what that will do is keep it from drying out during the grafting process. It's very hot here today. It's, it's already pushing 90, so... That being said, you want to work quick. Don't want to dry the larvae out. Okay, grafting is done. I'll take my towel off and immediately stick this back in the cell starter. Forty-eight hours ago we made up our cell starter. Twenty-four hours ago I inserted the grass. Today we're going to insert everything back into the cell finisher. Now one thing I forgot to point out the other day is with your cell starter, you want to set that in a nice cool area. You don't want it out in the heat. So, you can see here, I'm kind of set up in the shade. It's shaded here all day long. They got a nice cool breeze, we're on a hill. It's an ideal location and it works great for me. Something I thought I ought to mention. Let's get ready to transfer everything back over. Okay folks, we're over here at the cell finisher. The very first thing I'm going to do before transferring anything is put more food in my feeder in the bottom box. There. That's the simplest way to feed them. No, I don't have to open it all the way up. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find my brood that I moved up here on the first day and I'm going to make space right in the middle for my grafting tool. The other day these bees were a little feisty with me and I had to suit up, so you can probably notice I'm in shorts today and I'm anxious to see how this goes. Okay, I've got my, my hive prepped. I'm going to move you up here a little closer so you can see. I've got three brood frames here. I'm going to put my grafting frame right here and then I'll use this other existing or for three more frames. 
So let's get started. Let's open up the cell starter and let's start positioning them back over. So here's my frame. And you can see there is quite a few cells that they're accepting. We'll transfer this right over into the finished colony. And this is where the bees originally came from, so acceptance won't be a problem. Now to transfer everything else. Okay, this step is complete. Now it's up to the finisher colony to finish this process off. So we'll close them up now and we'll come back within that period and, and check them out, see how they're doing. Good morning, folks. It's the last day here. We're going to take and get in here today and remove our grafting frame. The cells should be complete. We're going to remove the cells. And uh, yesterday I made up cleanless nukes for all the cells. They've been cleanless for 24 hours now. So each cell will go in a cleanless mating nuke. So let's get in there and, and get the, the grafting frame. Okay, I've got the hive open. And I've spread the part, the frames a little bit so I can remove the grafting frame very gently. You want to be very gentle with this frame. Let's see what we got here. This is the moment of truth. Here's my grafting frame, covered in queen cells. Now, to get your queens, you do not want to shake this frame. What you want to do is it's best if you just lay this down across the hive and smoke the bees off. Shaking it would be very bad. See the bees exiting the grafting frame. Then you would replace another frame in the colony. So there you are. We've completely raised our own queens from our own stock. Now you know how to graft. I hope this procedure or video has taught you something. And uh, the more you practice, the better you will get. Practice makes perfect, people. So let's remember that. And let's practice everything I showed you in the video. And let's work towards crafting the perfect queen. Thanks for watching.